be nice to start with the elixir once tonight. Hey, Dazer. How's it going, man? Your destruction is at hand. What have we here? All right, so it's Sorcerer, so, and he's got the, so I guess we're going to assume it's Ward, All right, Ward Sorcerer. Um... They cannot hope to have with me. Yes, we kinsman. We might end up legitimate if he just keeps going face here. Yeah, too too bad. I was gonna say we might actually double witch that next turn just to prevent him from getting the book. Oh, we still might anyway to prevent the reproc. All too simple. <laughs> Putting one here, even though we know he's going to eat through it with Breakthrough, that gives us the opportunity to trade with that. Swing the life total back in our favor. Not that it matters because we're not sitting on a uh, Marshal at the moment, but I'd like to be in a position to play it if we draw it, so. Oh, right. I knew he had that. Your destruction is at hand. I'm clearly not with it tonight. That's the second play mistake I've made. Well... I guess instead the answer is going to be that we put a Fighter's Guild recruit over there. Come on, really? We've broken five runes tonight? Don't even get the health now. If I fall, they hiss. The walker watches over me. Last five runes we've broken. Three of them have been prophecies. R and Jesus, save us. Save us now. You know, we're supposed to be the aggressive ones here, but... It turns out, guys, that Blood Mammoth is really good. Or, uh, Young Mammoth. Did I say Blood Mammoth? Somebody needs more coffee. A dark omen for you. They kinsman and Courier. Courier to try to stem the bleeding and Kinsman to hopefully trade next turn. Again, swing some life back in our favor. Um, as much as I wanted to play the Blood Dragon there to, to go aggro, I think stabilizing and gaining the health is more important. As it is, we might not even Blood Dragon next turn either. It might end up being like uh, Werebat and something else because of the potential health gain. Let's dance. We shall see. Careful there, friend. Well, that's just not very nice now, is it? Um, all right, well, if we, well, we know we're doing this either way. If we do this here, then that means that this survives. This still trades. Oh, come on! Another prophecy? Please be like Mummify where you have no good targets. Of course you're like people. And now it's Cliff Racer or Blood Dragon. Cliff Racer or Blood Dragon. Or Werebat. I think it's going to be the Blood Dragon because that gets us, well, hold on. Cliff Racer puts him at 9, which lets us threaten lethal, assuming he gets it not another prophecy. But he's going to kill this for sure, so it's really down to 11. Blood Dragon. Alright, so... If we attack with Cliff Racer, it gets him to 9, but then um, he 
might have like an answer for it in the form of like another lightning bolt whereas this it's much harder for him to kill in these colors and as long as he doesn't get rid of this we have potentially lethal gotcha. this takes it to 11 this will take it to six because he can ignore guards and he just shouldn't have life gain um and then Tazcad finishes. So that's the reason we opted Blood Dragon over Racer. Praise to our unholy yeah. We're good. We're good. So that goes to 11. This goes to 6. Doesn't matter if he has a prophecy or not because Tazcad should finish it. I guess I, sh I guess I shouldn't say it doesn't matter. If he had the 2-6 mummy and he would have dropped it over there, I guess it would have mattered. I just wasn't considering it because, like, nobody runs it in Constructed, but... 